and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs i'm angel b um if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back in this video we're going to be doing some dtf on a couple of jean jackets well one jean jacket and then i have another one that i did for tiktok so here's the one that i will be doing in this video that looks absolutely amazing but i also want to get into um the different kinds of powders and what exactly they do and what exactly they're for so i want to start out by thanking yamation for sending me this um box here this is the dtf powder kit that they have hold on let me turn it down so you guys can see this is the dtf powder kit that they have it does come with four different dtf powders um, which is um, a three ounce black medium, a three ounce white fine, a three ounce white coarse, and a three ounce white medium. Okay, so what do those things mean, right? What do what does um, the black do, the uh, fine, the coarse, and the medium? What's the difference between them? So the black DTF powder is for dark color. So if you have a dark shirt, it helps the patterns and the colors to kind of pop more if you use the black powder. Now it's not a re re requirement, so you don't have to use it. The white powder does work just fine. But if you just want a little bit more oomph in your pattern, you can go with the black powder for your dark colors like your blacks and your dark blues and things like that. Okay, the next one is going to be the white fine glitter. So the fine glitter is for your smaller mesh material, which would be things like t-shirts, socks, um, things like that, right? Like maybe um, the thin like yoga pants, things like that. That's what the fine um, powder is going to be for, smaller mesh material. Then you have the coarse powder. The coarse powder is what we're going to be using today for our denim. So for denim... Um, like, you know, jackets, jeans, um, canvas totes, the cotton ones, um, or even the ones that are a little bit thicker. I can't think of the name of the material, but it's like a canvas tote. Um, hats, things like that. That's what your coarse powder is going to be for. And then you have the white medium powder, which is just the standard powder. Okay, so that's everything that came in the kit. I will have a link and a coupon code for this in my description box. So make sure you check that out. Um, and then the second product that they sent me is this. Let me turn this ring light down again. Is the um, the roll, the, the film roll. So this is the film and it does, they have it available in a roll. So I don't currently have the DTF printer where I can attach a... Um, roll to but if you have one they have the roll okay um and it's just a standard roll you would hook it up to whatever dtf printer that you have or i don't know of any sublimation printers that take these but um if you have one that does take it i guess you could plop that right on there as well but this is for the dtf printers um that do take the rolls mine does not so i won't be using this today but i will have a link and a coupon code for the roll as well in the description box so definitely make sure you check that out but in today's video like i said we are going to be doing some dtf on these denim jackets and we're going to be using the coarse powder and i'll be showing you how to use it so if you want to learn how to do that go ahead and stick around all right guys so i just kind of wanted to quickly show you how the print is coming out it is supposed to be white on the back so definitely make sure that when it is printing you see that um white being printed on top of the color it is imperative um, the next thing I'm going to do once the print is all out, I'm going to go ahead and we are using the um, the Yamation White Coarse Powder to go ahead and um, coat and cure our um, print here. Um, so the coarse powder, like I explained in the beginning, is what you would use for things like denim, which we are using a denim jacket today. So we're going to go ahead and use the coarse powder. Um, but basically all I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's nice and sprinkled all the way around. Um, and then I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to go ahead and sift it back and forth just to make sure that everything is nice and coated. 
Um, you just want to make sure that that powder gets all over the back of the print where all the white is so that you don't have any issues when you go to press. That's what makes it stick to the material. And then once that's nice and coated and cured, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, coated, we're going to take it over to our oven and we are going to cure this at 100 degrees Celsius for 200 seconds. And that does beep when it is ready to go. But I wanted to quickly, again, go over the powder kit. This is the one that they sent me. There is um, three ounces in the black, the fine, the coarse, and then there's six ounces in the medium. I think in my intro, I did say three, but it is a six ounce package. This is the fine powder. Um, it's a white fine powder. This is the, um, it's three ounces. That is for like t-shirts and things like that. This is the black powder, which like I explained in the beginning, this is for your dark fabric. So your black, dark blues, things like that um, and then this one is the regular standard white medium powder which is what I've used in my previous videos um, was the medium powder and the medium powder like I said it does come in a six ounce I know in my intro I said three ounces but they send it in the box in a six ounce package where the other three come in a three ounce package and then again this is the white coarse powder in the three ounce package that came inside of that box All right, so moving on to pressing our print, we did go ahead and cure it, so it is fully cured. Um, I do have my um, jacket here, and, and then I'm just gonna briefly show you. I did, because the jacket does have all those little ridges and things like that, and I wanna make sure that I have enough pressure, I did go ahead and add a pressing pillow underneath my jacket just to make sure I have a good amount of pressure. Um, but I'm basically gonna take my blank, and I'm just gonna put it right on top of the jean jacket, and then I'm not gonna cover it or anything like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press it at 325 degrees for 40 seconds. All right, and now that it has pressed, we're about done here. Um, basically, what I like to do is once I take it out, now this is a cool peel, so you can't peel it right away, but what I like to do is kind of take my shirt and make sure that it's nice and pressed down. Those edges are pressed down and everything is pressed down. And then I do have to wait for it to fully cool before I can peel it. All right, so our image is cooled off and we're just gonna go ahead and peel. You can peel in an upwards motion, downwards motion, just as long as it's a um, like a direct angle when you're peeling it. So that looks amazing. Um, we do have to go ahead and press it a second time. I'm just gonna cover it with a Teflon sheet. And then we're gonna go ahead and press it again at 325 degrees for about 10 seconds. You guys, don't forget to um, join my Facebook group, Crafty Mamas. That's with an S, no emojis or anything like that. Everything will be linked down in the description box below. Follow me on social media, which will also be linked in the description below. And then again, I do have links and coupon codes for these products as well in my description box. Um, so make sure you definitely check the, the description box and check all the links. But that looks absolutely amazing on this denim. You guys, I need to get my hands on a bigger DTF printer so I can do bigger prints, but that looks amazing. I love the color. It really, that second press just really makes those edges adhere to the jacket. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like anything is there. I mean, it just, it really doesn't. It feels like it just became a part of the jacket. And that looks really, really, really good. I love that. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Again, please make sure you check the description box for all links, coupon codes, information, social media, everything will be in the description box. Thanks for, so much for watching. Bye.